Hey guys, this is Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. Well, it's Valentine and like every year, this Valentine also, I'm going to make something special for my wife and my loved ones. Well, let's make Valentine cookies. So here is a little surprise for you. What I'm going to do is make a common dough and make three cookies out of that. How? Let's begin. The dough that I'm going to make today for you is a classic short crust dough. For that, we require 200 grams of refined flour, 100 grams of butter and 50 grams of sugar. Now the ratio here is how much ever refined flour you have, you need half the quantity of salted butter and half of that is the sugar. So the first thing is to add the butter into the refined flour. Well the classic dough says chilled butter, cubed butter, but here I'm going to make it absolutely simple. So you can take butter at any temperature and we need to mix all of this till it reaches breadcrumb like consistency. Well, this is done best with fingers. So off goes the spoon. So the next step here is to add in caster sugar. That's how it looks, breadcrumb like. To this, let's commonly flavor this by adding in vanilla bean. What I have done is taken a vanilla pod like so, just massage it so that kind of the beans open up little and slit that into half lengthwise and scrape this on the back of your knife but carefully. So you see, these are the fresh vanilla beans that we need to use for these cookies. Let's add these. Well, alternately, if you do not have this or do not kind of source this, please use vanilla essence. Let's massage this as well. To bring this dough together, you need a liquid medium. In this case, I'm adding in an egg yolk. Well, this will also make it nice and moist. Well, if you wish to avoid the egg yolks, you could add 15 ml of milk. Once the dough comes together, we need to divide this into roughly three portions. The first one needs to be colored chocolate brown in color. For that, I'm using one teaspoon of cocoa powder. And because this is going to make the dough drier, we need to add in a teaspoon of cold water. Let's mix this well. With this, our cocoa flavored dough or our chocolate dough is ready. Well, let's keep this aside and move on to the next dough, which I'm going to color red to signify red velvet. Just a few drops of food grade edible red color and mix this well. With this, our red velvet dough is also ready. Let's keep that with the chocolate one. And finally, the plain vanilla, which we're going to retain as it is. Well, let's keep all of this together. And this now goes in the refrigerator for a minimum of 30 minutes to rest. The dough has rested well. The next step is to roll this into a thin sheet. Just so that it doesn't stick to the base, I'm going to apply a little bit of refined flour, press this a little, and sheet this into the desired thickness. Well, because it's a short crust pastry, you may see that it kind of crumbles and wrinkles at the edges, but that's absolutely perfect. Just get the dough together like so, and sheet it each time making sure it doesn't stick at the bottom. The next step is to cut this into rounds, for which let's dab a cutter in refined flour and punch it. And place this on a baking tray. Similarly, let's take the next dough and sheet it up this time, let's cut this with a knife in a cute heart shape. And move on to the cocoa dough. The whole process of sheeting the dough in a thin sheet and cutting that remains the same. I'm going to cut this into rectangles like so.
I'm going to punch a small heart out of this cookie. We need to carefully lift this without changing the shape and without breaking the cookie. This needs to be baked at 200 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes. The cookies are baked and ready. Let's pull them out of the oven. Let's cool these completely and that would take around 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Well, if you notice, we need to pull these out exactly after 12 minutes because of the residual heat, they will still continue to cook. In the oven, it'll turn harder and not remain crisp anymore. While the cookies are cooling, let's make the topping or the royal icing. For that, I've taken a cup and a half of powdered sugar. To this, I'm adding a tablespoon of corn flour, a tablespoon of lemon juice for two reasons. One is to kind of balance the sweetness with the tartiness. And the second reason is to brighten the white color. To this, I'm adding in two tablespoons of egg whites. And let's give this a whisk. Once all this is mixed together, we'll be adding in a tablespoon of chilled water. We need to beat this for at least 8 to 10 minutes till it becomes nice and fluffy. Our royal icing is now beaten well and ready. And if you notice, there are some semi-hard peaks which need to be formed like so. And transfer half of this so that we can color it nice, bright and red. For this, I'm adding in the same food grade red color. And let's give this a mix using a spoon. Once this is nicely mixed, this needs to be kept aside under a damp cloth. The next step is to take two bowls and transfer the desired quantity in each of the bowls. I'm adding in a teaspoon of water in each. This is purely to adjust the consistency. Let's transfer this straight in a piping bag and give it a very tiny snip using a sharp scissor. While you can follow what I'm showing, you can of course use your creativity, write a little note, write few words, do a little decoration as per your choice. The cookies are decorated and ready. Leave this out for at least half an hour so that the icing kind of sets. With this, Valentine special cookies are ready to impress your Valentine. And this one is definitely for my Valentine. Uh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day.